Hey everybody and welcome back. Recently, I've been trying to find ways to use professions that don't get as much love in the community. Artisan is like the king of farming professions. A 40% bonus to artisan sale prices is probably the most unbalanced thing that Stardew Valley has to offer, other than whatever weird tricks Blade is up to, I guess. But because of that huge bonus to value, I don't see people picking up the agriculturist profession very often, and in fact, I pretty much never select it myself. Also, this is going to be very challenging for me to say so frequently, and I always find it weird that it's agriculturist and not agriculturalist. Apparently they are actually the same thing, but my brain always wants to add those extra letters. Anyway, let's talk about a couple scenarios where you might want to pick up agriculturist, at least for a short time. I still think I'll pick artisan most of the time, but since we can switch back and forth now, there are some niche occasions where it might be worth spending the money to get the growth speed modifier. There are timestamps in the video description, so feel free to skip around as you like. Just a reminder too before we get started that if you like the videos I make and you want to see more of them, make sure to subscribe and drop a like on the video. If you want to help me afford the 10,000 gold I need to change my profession to YouTuber, you could even check out my Patreon linked in the video description. And if I missed a use for the agriculturist profession, make sure you let me know now in the comments. Alright, so let's start with a scenario that's a little far-fetched but is actually ridiculously profitable. Sweet gem berries are the most profitable base crop in the game, and even with the artisan perk, a gold sweet gem berry is worth almost as much as an iridium starfruit wine. That is wild. There are two main problems with sweet gem berries though. They take 24 days to grow, and you can only buy the seeds from the traveling merchant. It is downright friendly of her to sell them guaranteed through spring and summer, so you could technically have like 16 seeds by fall if you checked every day that she's open. Sometimes she's even going to have as many as five, but usually only one. The traveling merchants sell the seeds for as little as 650 gold, but they usually go for a thousand. That means if you use a seed maker to get more seeds instead of buying them, you're going to be losing money every time you get fewer than three seeds for a normal sweet gem berry, and using any other quality of berry is essentially just throwing money away. But since you can only buy them in such limited quantities, you do almost have to just eat that loss to get any kind of big production up and running. The wiki has some good stats on this, but the short version is that you should sell your gold or iridium quality berries and make seeds from your normal and silver ones, assuming you even want more in the first place, which is what I am assuming because that's the point of this part of the video. The other problem is that they just take so long to grow. 24 days is ridiculously long for a crop that only produces once, and is only able to be planted in the fall. But we're literally here looking at agriculturist for a reason. With hyper speed grow and the agriculturist perk, you can reduce the growing time all the way down to 13 days. Even if your berry is only normal quality, that would mean that you made a profit of 2000 gold, since the seed costs 1000, or about 154 gold per day. That is an insane return for your crop, and it only increases as you get higher quality crops. At gold quality, you'd be making 269 gold per day. With the artisan perk, Age Starfruit Wine sells for 6,300 gold, or a 6,100 gold profit if you bought the seeds. That is a ton of money, but it's also a huge time investment. It's going to take 69 days from seed to iridium wine, meaning your artisan starfruit wine, the most expensive wine in the game, is making you about 88 gold per day. And again, that's nothing to sneeze at, especially because you can scale it up to just ludicrous levels. But our gold quality sweet gem berry is making more than half the profit in less than one fifth of the time. Am I suggesting you start filling your fields with sweet gem berries? No, not, not really. <laughs> it's too hard to get enough seeds to implement this strategy at a really large scale. And the radioactive ore you would need for all that speed grow is just unlikely to be sitting in a chest in your shed but it might be worth making some space in your greenhouse for them. Even if you're just using deluxe speed grow, they're still outpacing that starfruit wine, because your normal sweet gem berry is still making 133 gold per day. Plus, you're going to be in the greenhouse already when we start talking about the next tip. When we look at late game crops, most people will end up scaling their ancient fruit production up to massive levels. Ancient fruit is amazing because it lives through three seasons and produces fruit every seven days. It has a long initial grow time of 28 days, so it can be a bit of a hassle to grow outside, but in the greenhouse or on Ginger Island, where ancient fruit live forever, it's hard to argue with that value. 
and this is a situation where the ability to switch professions can come in handy. For 10,000 gold, you can switch over to Agriculturist from Artisan, if that's what you've probably been using. Now, this is not a way to save money or to generate more value. This is purely because we are impatient as players sometimes. If you're still working on getting your Ancient Fruit Kingdom established, you might want to consider picking Agriculturist just for a while to boost that grow speed. Since you're almost certainly going to end up turning your Ancient Fruit into wine, it might even be worth it to use Deluxe or Hyper Speed Grow as well. Speed Grow type fertilizers only affect the growth and the first harvest of crop. So you won't be getting your Ancient Fruit faster after that first harvest, but if you're going to be kegging all of your fruit anyway, then you probably don't care that quality fertilizers do affect multi-harvest quality. With Hyper Speed Grow and Agriculturist, we could have our first harvest in 15 days. And if you don't want to shell out for the Hyper variety, you could still get your first harvest in 18 days with Deluxe Speed Grow and Agriculturist. That means you're getting your fruit into seed makers and back into the ground much, much faster. Again, this isn't going to make you more money. I mean, you're technically going to lose like 20k if you're going from artisan to agriculturist and back again. But sometimes short time costs are worth eating, you know, to get your plans in place. At least for me, I guess. Sometimes you're willing to throw some gold at a problem to save yourself some time. And the final tip is exactly one of those situations. You love it, you hate it, you mostly hate it, we actually all hate it. Key's Crop is one of the most frustrating quests in Stardew Valley. Depending on when you accept the quest, you might have hardly any time to grow and ship 500 of those stupid fruits. I really don't recommend taking this one with fewer than about 20 days on board, but you can definitely try it faster than that. It's certainly possible to go flying through this quest. At least they only take four days to grow, right? Well, what if they only took two days? If you have Agriculturist and Deluxe Speed Grow, you can rip through that 500 fruit requirement super quickly. You're still going to need to get some initial beans to start, and I recommend deforesting all of Cinder Sap, the mountain, the spa, the oasis, just anywhere there are trees. That should get you enough to get started with your production. Then, make another profession swap to go for pirate if you don't already have it. Grab yourself a treasure hunter tackle and some magnet bait and get fishing. Alternatively, you can bomb the crap out of the Skull Cavern. There are a ton of ways to get the key beans, but the most important part is getting enough fruit by the end of the quest. Seed makers are your friends here, so don't sell any of them until you've got enough to sell it all in one batch. And with Agriculturist and at least Deluxe Speed Grow, you're going to be able to run this quest down to the wire. Go ahead, and you know, you can take it a little later than normal. It's only going to take you half the time to grow everything. So, there we go. I'm realizing now, actually, that this was basically a really long rant about sweet gem berries and two other really good ways to use Agriculturist. Am I going to switch over and give up Artisan now? No, no, not at all. These are cool, but Artisan is busted. But there is fun to be had in a lot of different ways in Stardew Valley. Maybe this will inspire you to try a different profession sometime, or not. I don't care, I'm not the boss of you. What do you think about Agriculturist? Have you literally ever selected it? Let me know down in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.